Hello everyone, this is Peter from Regular Stuff Today. Again, back to show you how you can save a buck because for me to save a buck on some house, household repair is a dollar that I can spend on travel. So what I'm going to show you today is a problem that I had with my porch screen door. The jam bracket broke. This little piece right here just snapped right in two. It's been on there probably five and a half years and between the temperature getting hot and cold, the shifting pressure on the door just snapped in two. So I went down to the local big box store and see if I could get a replacement for it and they wanted to sell me this whole component. They wanted to sell me the, uh, the cylinder, the jam bracket, the door attachment, the screws, everything. It's going to be right around 20 bucks. To me that's money I'd rather spend on a cruise. So I went online to uh, find a part and I went to the manufacturer and I wondered what is the manufacturer of this component and there it is right there it's called Wright W-R-I-G-H-T I went online found their website found this little part right here it's called a Lanai Jam Bracket got that for two dollars and eighty five cents plus tax they shipped it to me and I had it in less than 24 hours so we're going to pause for a second here and we're going to go out to my porch door and I'm going to show you how to install it Okay, here we are. So I have the new jam bracket in my hand, and this is the jam it goes on. And I'm going to use the exact same holes that uh, were originally installed because it's the same manufacturer, same part. Holes line up perfectly. I'll put the screws in. And again, I'm going to pause while I put the screws in. I'm not going to bore you to tears while I put six screws in. So let me get these in, and I'll be right back to you in just a minute. All right, now we're back out here on the patio, and I've got the screws in. One thing I should point out to you is that uh, when you get the jam bracket, it does not come with screws and it also does not come with the little pins, the one that goes on this side and the one that goes on the door side. So hold on to your pins, don't throw those away or lose them. All right, so pretty easy. We're just going to slide that in there, line the hole up, drop the pin in place and it's in. And then on the cylinder itself, it actually tells you what hole that you need to use. So if you're hooking up a screen door panel, you want to use the back hole, not the front hole. If you're using a, a storm door, it's a little more weight to it. And so they recommend that you use the front, the front pin hole. So just drop that in there. Kind of wiggle it around a little bit to get it to line up. And as I fight with it, it's actually not that hard. That's because I had it crooked. Let's get that in there again. There we go. Now it's in all the way. And I can release the lock on the door and it will close on its own. Okay, pretty easy to do. Not too difficult at all. $4, $3 and change. Then money that uh, that I will save and go to use for, use on travel or a cruise. So for now, I want just want to say to you, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.